Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my little live stream. We are uh, way out east on Long Island. Uh, just enjoying this fine early Wednesday morning. And uh, let's get to it. Who's first? Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Happy Wednesday, all. You people. LOL. Uh, what's going on, Jerry? Welcome to the, uh, the the live stream. On another like kind of chilly day here at the ocean, the wind has been cooperating. It's been coming from uh, the southwest, so it's just bringing that cool air off the ocean, and it's cooling everything down. Did one of those nights where I slept with all the windows open. It was just absolutely, can I say glorious? I think it was glorious, yes. Nick, what's going on, brother? We got Gail. We got RJ Henners. We got Scott Watson up the river. We're on a, a bit earlier today because I, I was uh, wide awake because I, I slept with the windows open. And as glorious as it was, uh, it also woke me up because uh, I don't like a lot of wind <laughs> on my face. <laughs> And I just, I was I was trying to block the wind with the pillows and the blankets. Look, this is the real stuff. You know, everyone says how great it is to sleep with the windows open. But I was making a little fort around me to try to block the wind. Uh, but anyway, uh, I hope everyone's all right. Everyone's all right. You haven't done anything yet. Nothing's happening yet. Of course you're all right. Uh, Sean McGill, Morning Open Squad. Good morning to you. Joyce, what's up, Joyce? Joyce puts a smile on my face every time I see her name pop uh, on this damn thing. How are you, Joyce? Hope you're uh, hope you're staying cool in the city. Hot times, I'm in the city. I would love to sing that song, but the the lyrics go by way too fast. When I uh, karaoke, I need I need I need a song where where the lyrics are just like this, nice and slow. But as soon as it's like hot times, I'm in the city. pretty. You, you never catch up. You never catch up, and you look like a you look like a fool. But I hear it's hot, real hot in the city. Um, so I hope everyone is like staying cool in New York City, man. I hope you're hanging in there wherever you are. Morning, Richie Rich, and he says morning. Who the man? Well, who the man today? I mean, you guys could also, uh, you know, you could also nominate uh, someone for who the man today. But I think I'm going to go with a team. I'm going to go with uh, the New York Knickerbockers in the NBA, in the NBA Association. Um, they picked up another uh, star from Villanova's uh, 2016 championship team. Uh, and now the Knicks got four Villanova guys that really, really like each other. It's very exciting. Uh, who, who do they get? Miles Bridges. They got Miles Bridges from uh, the Nets. So now the Knicks have four guys from Villanova's uh, championship team in 2016. That's really exciting for uh, New York Knicks fans. Hi, Birdie! See that seagull in the background? Um... And my brother-in-law even uh, he he was texting me. He's like, I, he goes, dude, I gotta I gotta be honest. I think I'm more of a Knicks fan than a Sixers fan now, because your your boys got four from uh, Villanova, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm gonna go with the Knicks uh, as the man today. There, Richie Rich, getting ready for work. Joyce Collins says, sleeping with the windows open makes for a dried out nose and throat. Hug. <laughs> Hate summer colds. <laughs> Are you all are you all stuffed up, are you choice? Are you got are you got a little stuffy nose today? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not all it's cracked up to be, right? What's up, fo footer? Where the hell have you been, footer? Hope uh, hope life is treating you well. Uh, is Grimace still giving us Mets luck with wins? I, uh, uh, oh oh uh, uh, I I don't know I don't know I don't follow the Mets I don't follow the Yankees I know there's a uh, a subway series going on in New York, so that's that's very exciting for everybody. The Mets and the Yankees going at it. Hot down summer in the city. All of my friends are really quite shitty. There you go, Jerry. Jerry, I like that. What's your favorite summer song? Give us a call on your home of rock and roll. I already told you, lazy. <laughs> In the, uh, uh, the Kinks. I go with the Kinks. 
Uh, oh my God, sector uh, question. Did you vaccinated with the COVID? Did you vaccinated with the COVID vaccines? That's your question. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And it wasn't based on a politician. It wasn't based on a talking head on the TV. It was based on uh, you know doctors, doctors I trust in my life. So oh wow, you see that? Angry bird crashing into windows out here at the ocean. Yeah, I I, uh, I did the vaccination thing. Um, I hope you're all right with that. I guess uh, you know, depending on where you where you lean politically, you know, that's either okay or not okay. But I'm I'm one of the I'm one of the people that I, I base my decision on like people I trust around me that are actual doctors. So yes, I did. But I tapped out on the I tapped out on the boosters. I was like, I, I'm 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 good. I don't need any more boosters. Enough with the boosters. Uh, Henry YouTube. Hey, oh, what's up, Henry YouTube? Good morning, Jason. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Milt Miranda. Good morning. Good morning. All right, everyone's in the good morning mode still. All right. All right. You're a tad uh, out of focus, Ope. Yeah, they're saying like uh, I'm plugged into the Wi-Fi. And uh, it's saying I have a bad signal today, so I don't know. Is the video that bad? Is it doable? I, I'm sorry, because I've been pumping up the production of this uh, recently, and now, like, today I see it's like what, Like, I'm plugged into my router, but I, it's showing one bar on my, uh, my MacBook screen. I, I, don't, I don't know. Way out here on, on Long Island, you get horrible service. You get horrible, uh, you get horrible cable. You know, they keep they keep telling us, yeah, well, you're going to get the fiber soon. They've been telling us for 10 years we're going to get the fiber soon for our cable. So we're all very excited that we might be getting the fiber cable soon. Oh, my God, that's going to be just a glorious day. It, it's going to bring us into the, what, into the 2010s when we get the fiber cable. Well, I woke up to my girlfriend bringing up with me, so I have that going for me. Um... Well, you know, is that uh, is that uh, is that good or is that bad? Uh, I asked that because yesterday a, a friend of mine announced that they were getting a divorce, and uh, I knew that I was supposed to say congratulations. So, am I congratulating you, Footer, or is this a bad thing? Did you see it coming? What's going on? What's going on with the breakup? Let's cue up uh, Greg Kin, the breakup song on your home of rock and roll. Do we do a twofer with the the Greg Kin? No, of course not. Of course not. Look up Greg Kin. Everything, everything he put out album wise, he had to work uh, the the last name Kin Kin into his albums. Is this too obscure for people? Now I got to do this. This is why I love live streaming. Like if you told me a half hour ago that I would be talking about Greg Kin. I would have said, you're fucking nuts. Well, you, you got to see these albums. Uh, wait, Greg Kinn albums. Okay, this lunatic. He had one good song, I think. But boy, did he put out albums. All right. Why can't, why can't I just get the albums? All right. He had, uh, he had uh, an album called Greg Kinn. Very original. Then he had Conspiracy. <laughs> then he had Next of Kin. And then he had Greg Kin again. And then he had Citizen Kin. And then he had Kin of Hearts. And then, you know, when his career was over around 2003, he's like, you know, it's time for a best of. His best of album, I think, had two songs on it. One on one side and one on the other side for you old schoolers that still do albums. And that was called Best of Kin. There you go. The Greg Kin Band. On your home of rock and roll. Uh, Greg Buell, good morning, GH and Squad. Good morning to you, Greg. Stan Davis, good morning. We got the Jason uh, Super Summer 2 for Twin Spin. Oh, I like a Twin Spin, bad luck, Bart. Now, the other thing that happens out here, um, so, you know, uh, because of the ocean, everything rusts. And uh, a couple years back, I, 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 I forgot all about this until I started talking about the cable couple years back all of a sudden I'm noticing a huge puddle outside my house then it turns into a river 
And then it was kind of into a, like a, a mini pond because it, it, the, the, the road dropped off just enough to make kind of a kind of a scoop where the water collect. And then every once in a while you'd see a duck in this right out, right outside my house and cars going by four weeks spraying as it going through the, the massive puddle of water. And I'm like, man, that sucks. Where's this fucking water coming from, right? Turns out it's coming from my house. Some pipe broke underneath, and and it was uh, it was puddling up in front of my house in such a way that there was no way of knowing that it was actually from my house. Because because it, it, uh, it also was like like two houses that way, two houses that it was a lot of water. So uh, also I'm like, uh, um, well, the only reason I knew is uh, it was from my house was because I got the water bill from uh, from Suffolk County. And my water bill for, <laughs> for that period, whatever. Do they bill you every month or every couple? I don't know. Whatever it was. It was a couple thousand dollars for water. <laughs> I said, what? So I called them up. And they came out. And they're like, oh, yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, look, here's the meter. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, this is accurate. You owe over $2,000. I forgot the exact price, but it was it was a shocker. It, it hurt a lot. And... Uh, and then I'm like, I'm like, well, well, you guys had meters back at, uh, you know, where you're at. Did, 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 does your meter show that I'm using a lot of water? He goes, oh, yeah, it's, it's been off the charts. It's been off the charts for a couple of weeks. I'm like, when were you going to tell me this? It's not like I, you know, I live on a golf course and I'm trying to, I'm trying to water the fairways and the, and the greens. I'm just a regular dude with a with a fortunate house at the ocean. And I, I use a little water every once in a while. Maybe we spray our stupid feet and take an outdoor shower. Well, I don't know what to tell you, sir. You owe uh, whatever it was. It was absolutely over two thousand dollars. I was like, well, can, I mean, can you give me a little courtesy? It's obvious that I, I I wasn't using that water, and there was a major issue that you guys knew of on your end, and decided not to knock on my door and tell me that there's something seriously wrong in your house. I think we could knock off a hundred dollars on the bill. <laughs> I left. I left a hundred dollars. Gee. Gee, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, I mean it's kind of you know it's kind of some of the problems when you live uh when you live on the actual ocean. Everything rusts out. Everything. I, I got a hanging light that it, it, it rusted and now it's just hanging by wires. I gotta get someone to fix that and some other things. Uh Mike Long, any song for the Beach Boys is your summer song? Right on. Did you all know that the COVID vaccine is... Uh, is uh, all right, thank you, Seth. I, I, I'm, not do, I'm not doing this, sexo. Go somewhere else with your, your vaccine crap. All I know is... I'll say this. When I was growing up... Now you guys got me distracted with the bad... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the video's not as good as... Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not... Hold on a second. I'm just checking my video on my end. Ah, yeah, yeah, what the hell? We're not getting a good signal today. And I, I actually showered for you people. Um, I'll say this. Like, when I was growing up, it's so weird how everything flips. You know, we uh, when we were growing up, um, the anti-vax people were considered downright weirdos. Like, weirdos. Do you guys remember going to school and, like, and, you know... There were there were kids that wouldn't get vaccinated for certain things because of their religious beliefs or whatever, or or like uh, you know they wore homemade clothes and because they wore homemade clothes, their their mommies like yeah, well, no nah, we, we don't vac we no nah, we don't vaccinate and then next thing you know like you're 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 catching weird shit or your friends are catching weird shit because kids weren't vaccinated for stuff. We all consider them weirdos at the time, and now there's a flip flop. A flip-flop happened somewhere in there. It's weird. It's absolutely weird. Uh, all good. I got bullied into uh, by my wife who's medically trained. To, okay. All right. All right. Now people are talking about the uh, the vaccine stuff. Good morning, open fellow F faces. Nathan Blimmer, what's up, brother? How are you? Sorry for the picture. Sorry for the picture today. I, I don't. I, I, if I'm plugged into the router cable vision, or w- what's the cable out here? 
I think it used to be called cable vision, but I think they I, I think they got a fancy name. Same service, but they got a fancy name now. I go to the cable company no less than three or four times a summer, and I just march in there, and they're like, they see me coming. I'm like, just just punch me up on your stupid screen. You'll see all the complaints because I'm not going through it again. And the last time I went to the cable company, it cost me, uh, you know, it cost me a few bucks because I. Had, that's when I was in a fender bender because I was I was I was uh, heated. I was a bit heated because I was trying to live stream out here, and the and it was way worse than this. And I went, I, I, I jumped in my car right after a live stream, heated, and I was in a dumb traffic circle, like fr- like I'm in, in another country, and someone goes flying in front of me to exit the traffic circle and get a nice fender bender, cost me a few bucks on that damn thing, and then I marched it to, into the cable company with the fancy name, with the same service, and, uh, and, uh, and my my bumper was hanging off my car. My headlight was just fucking a mess. I'm like, wow, this doesn't seem worth it anymore, man. This day is this day has become expensive. <laughs> and then they just keep throwing new stuff at me. Try this. Oh, thanks. Now I'm an installer. Now I'm an installer. Remember when you guys used to install? I guess now the customers. Not only are the cable bills outrageous now i'm in it i'm in uh, i'm my own installer gee thanks i'll try to hook this up properly ridiculous i told you the last time we had a cable guy in this house it's it's one of my favorites i got a lot of favorite stories i guess but was having problems always had problems I'll be going to the cable company today because of this, uh, you know, this uh, low quality video. I'll, I'll, I'll march in there again and say, "Where's my, where's my fiber?" Um, but we had an issue, and a guy comes over and uh, and he uh, he knocks on the door. I hear you having a problem with your cable. You know, we've all been through this. I go, "Yeah." He goes, "Where's your bathroom?" I'm like, "Well, the the router's in, in the laundry room." He goes, "Where's your bathroom? Do, do you mind?" Oh, you need to use my bathroom, do you? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so, so he goes into our bathroom and blows it up. We hear him blowing it up. <laughs> we hear him blowing it up. Me and my, me and my wife, we're just wide-eyed looking at each other like, what the hell is he doing? Who does that? You know, you get a worker, they go, uh, most workers are like, oh my God, I'm really sorry, but can I use your bathroom? And they, they, it's always a one, it's not a two. This guy went all two. And then he just kind of opens the door and he's fucking wiping his face for whatever reason. And then he's like, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do. And he leaves. <laughs> And he leaves. <laughs> oh my god! And then you know, I think I think we had a complaint on that one. Well, we're not complainers in general, but I think we had a complaint on that. But we had a good laugh after, like he closed the door and went went marching back to his truck with his like with his uh, with his waddle. He had a little bit of a waddle because he was a bigger guy. He waddled back to his truck and took off. And then me and my wife had a good laugh. But then uh, I was like, I think I think we might have to file a complaint on this one, especially because uh, nothing was accomplished. And then some of these cable companies they sneak a little fee in. Oh, we went to your house, so you know that that's a hundred dollar charge now. What? Footer K, I had absolutely no idea. I'm actually in shock. Uh, 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 with the the lady breaking up with you, that that blows, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. Cheers to you, Footer. I don't know. I mean, all I know is over the years, I was in shock with some breakups, and uh, I wouldn't be where I am today if I stuck in those relationships with some of these psychos I went out with. But I remember at the time, I was heartbroken. Everyone starts with a little heartbroken, and then you realize, oh my God, I'm free! Yay! Uh, and you know about the Great Kin Band. Oh, geez. Okay. 
Conspiracy was another album. I thought we said Conspiracy, Andy Vala. Maybe I didn't. Okay. And he did have two songs. I told you. Technically, he's a two-hit wonder. There's a, there's a special category in music where there are people, groups, that are actual two-hit wonders. And Greg Kinn was a two-hit wonder, not a one-hit wonder. He had the breakup song and Jeopardy. So he's safe when they did Two for Tuesday. They could actually play some Greg Kinn. Um, another two-hit wonder, you might ask, would be someone like uh, Tone Loke. Wild Thing and Funky Cold Medina. Uh, this guy's still babbling about vaxes and we're all just ignoring him. Dude, we, we don't care here. And, and, and to be honest with you, it's too late anyway. Where was your info years ago if, if you got good info? He's just babbling to himself in the chat. It's too late. People either got it or didn't at this point. Uh, now I'm frozen? Am I frozen now? Oh, I'm, oh, am I, oh, am I going to give them a talking to? You are going to get a talking to, uh, cable company. Na, 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 yeah, the, eh, whatever. It's all right. We can just do a short one. I don't give a crap. You don't give a crap. No one gives a crap, right? What else is going on? We got the draft tonight. Uh, the NBA draft. Where's Bronny going to go? Where's LeBron's son going to go? Man, if I was a team, right? I would... Uh, LeBron James wants to play with his son so bad. If I was a team that got to uh, pick very early, I would pick uh, LeBron's son because that would literally fall for, excuse me, LeBron to to, pot, to really think about joining that team because his, his dream was always to play with his son. So I would be the asshole owner and go, just just draft him first. Like the Atlanta Hawks have the first pick, I think. Just draft Bronny and force LeBron's hand where, where LeBron has to go to Atlanta to finish out his career so he could uh, realize his dream of playing with his son in the NBA. That's what I would do. I would absolutely do that. Uh, yo, yo, morning, Ope. Happy hump day or fat ass Tuesday. Not sure where this peach day stuff came from. What's a, what's a peach day? I'm allergic to peaches. I can't have peaches. Uh, oh, wait, peaches. A lot of, a lot of peaches. Uh, that was that weirdo band, right? Uh, get a lot of peaches. Uh, uh, who sang the, the uh, uh, they did Lump. Uh, uh, presidents of the United States of America did uh, the song Peaches. Get a lot of peaches. It was a weird song, but they were a weird band. Good morning, you legend. Oh, look at that. Thank you, royalty. Uh, thank you very much. Look at it. Look, you get, just gave me a little pep. A little pep by calling me a legend. Good morning, Cupcake and crew. Rest in peace. YouTube announcements. I don't know what that means, Robert Cowling. Hi, Ope. What's going on with the video quality today? We just went over it, George. We just went over it. I plugged directly into the router, but it's showing one signal like it's trying to like uh, do the live stream off the Wi-Fi, but I turned off my Wi-Fi. It might be a ghost in uh, the machine. Cue up the police on your home of Rock and Roll. Love the police. Uh, Voss was on Gutfield yesterday. It looked like he needed some more polydent for his teeth. Rich Voss? How is how is he doing? <laughs> Bad luck, Bart. Look, we're just going to have to deal with the shitty video today. It's okay. I'm just pissed off because I got up early. Because, you know, I slept with the windows open and I couldn't handle the breeze. It was waking me up and my, my little pillow fort wasn't keeping the wind off my face. So all of a sudden at 5.15, I'm wide awake. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't I shower for these fine people? So this is the first day that I'm actually showered all nice for my live stream. And then the video goes out. The video's crap. Absolute crap. After a while, this out of focus becomes an improvement for you. Oh, dude, no complaints here. No complaints here. A lot of people were commenting about my my uh, my cameras on my live stream over the years, and I was like, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> the kid missed the boat on the 4K. The kid is not a 4K-er anymore. I, I'm I'm slowly uh, slowly heading to dial-up mode. 
this is good enough. What do you mean it's good? No, trust me, it's good enough. Dial up is good enough for this face. I missed the boat on the on the 4K, which is too bad because you know I was uh, I was quite the looker back in the day. I would have I would have done good with the 4K, but then the stupid time thing, you know, just keeps rolling. Took out my 4K. Uh, software update. Geez, thanks. Uh, I, I guess the I guess I guess the, my MacBook uh, realized that I'm not really doing anything good. You're not really doing anything good on your live stream. So can we do at least an update? Oi, oi, I hope sun going down in uh, Indonesia. GM, what's up? I got a, I got a small group of uh, people that are now fans of what I do uh, that are Indonesian because of uh, the, the Indonesian comic that I had, <clears throat> excuse me, I had on my, uh, my live stream from Get Parts. Uh, he came on the, the Get Parts live stream. He crushed it, and uh, and that video does very well every day. And I'm starting to hear from people from Indonesia. So, GM, man, I hope you become a regular. Uh, sun going down. Wait, your sun's going down, our sun is going up. So what is that? Is that like a... Are you only 12 hours? Are you uh No, no, you got to be... It's got to be more than 6, uh, 6.45 at night, right? I think so. Uh, but welcome, GM. Hope you become a regular here. We like good people over here. Uh, Defiant. Turns out Opie might have been right about Compound Media being in shambles all along. It's being sold to Gavin and employees already fired. Yes, that includes e I, 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 I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on with Anthony and his company. People are trying to get me to comment. Um... I, I would assume uh, I would I would assume that Anthony wants like to maybe just do his show and not worry about all the nonsense. See, during the Opie and Anthony years, guess who had to deal with more of the nonsense? And then uh, when Anthony, uh, you know, started his own thing, and this is not a shot at Anthony, he he realized, oh my God, I got to deal with a lot of the nonsense. I just want to turn on a mic and entertain the people. So I have no idea what's going on over there, but I would assume he he would rather just, like, turn on his shit, do his stuff, and that's it, and not have to worry about anything else. Get Starlink, Ope. It travels with you if you want, and as fast as most things. Can I get a Starlink? Maybe I'll get a drone. Can I get a Wi-Fi drone where I could just, like, like just uh, walk, uh, walk the beach, just rant it anyway? As I walk, looking at uh, looking for glass rocks, that would rule. Because that's uh, one of the reasons why I don't live stream down there. Because you know, I don't know. It's 2024, I think. And as soon as you get over that dune, there's no cell service. Literally, right there, right there, you lose your cell. Service. I can't even take a phone call on this deck. If you want to know the truth, because I guess there's no cell towers out that way, so the house blocks the cell signal. I don't know. I just, I just know that when I was growing up, I, I expected a lot more uh, in 2024. You know, we, we're, I've done this rap a million times. You got the James Webb telescope. Oh, I look at that. You see that little dot over there? That, that's light from a billion years ago. And we think this might be the start of the universe. And then I try to take a really important phone call yesterday, and I hear, ah, what, are you there? What? I can't hear. What, are, you, are you breaking up? Are you there? I'm like, don't leave. Especially, like, the people it's hard to get on the phone, and then next thing you know, the cell service is, oh, my God, no, don't, don't, don't hang up, don't hang up. And you're running all over the place trying to find a signal. Oh, yeah, but the James Webb telescope, here's where the, here's where life's, Started, we believe. Well, that's good. Speaking of space, are we going to save those astronauts? Supposedly, these astronauts uh, only have a few weeks left, and uh, and we're just babbling about the Hawk Tui girl. Are we going to save the astronauts, or are we going to just talk about the Hawk Tui girl some more? I don't even know what's going on with the astronauts. I'll be honest, because like I said yesterday, I I avoid all cable news channels, all of them. Uh, 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 what's going on? Oh, have you been men? What does that mean, Agent Smith? You all right? How's your summer so far? Yeah, my summer's been pretty good. 
uh, no complaints. We've been doing a lot. We've been doing a lot. So uh, it's just been nice and uh, relaxing in general. Dude, 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 dude. Why is this dude like just spamming my chat about the vaccine? Dude, you're like years late. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. You're years late. Uh, laugh at the cable guy blowing up the bathroom. Yeah. Actually, the video doesn't look bad. Okay, maybe it's like uh, figuring itself out. It has to figure itself out. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I know the fiber. We want the fiber. We want the fiber out here. Of course we do. And then, you know, we have uh, this thing. It's kind of fun, right? Because there was a lot of uh, development uh, developing out here. A lot of, a lot of buildings. A lot of houses going out up. I should have said a lot of building. A lot of houses going up. So, you know, uh, the grid can't really handle handle what has happened out here. So we, we get these things that are called, I don't know, brownouts that take out your major appliances. That's fun. We, we, got, a, we got a case with the electric company. Like, are you going to pay for half this shit? Got a whole list of things that uh, went out because of the the brown outs agent smith this is a riveting story all right thank you agent smith I don't, I don't know what you're getting at i don't know what you're getting at doggy's still sleeping opie streams from a game boy camera or something now clp says that's funny <laughs> that's really funny thank you uh oh i'm way behind in the comments okay lol blew up your bathroom damn that's so wrong dude i swear to you he, uh, he, his first thing was, where's your bathroom? And then he, I, we, I don't remember if he actually went in the laundry room to look at the, at, at our router. Uh, and if he did, it was, it was less than, I mean, less than a minute. That part of the story, I don't remember. I feel like he goes, where's your bathroom? He blew up the bathroom. This is all facts. And then he walked out of our house. But maybe he took a little peek at the router on his way out. Maybe. And basically said, I can't help you. But I, my, what I'm thinking is maybe he saw something outside the house. Knocked on the door. Where's your bathroom? Blows up the bathroom. Comes out sweating and wiping his face. And then goes, I can't help you. And, and, and what, does his waddle back to his truck and takes off. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. RJ Hitters, uh, speaking of things that have blown up, happy WNEW ONA anniversary. What's that? What's the WNEW ONA anniversary? Oh, this might be around the time we started, right? Back in uh, 1998 in New York. Oh my God, 1998 in New York City. Yeah, I think we started around now. I do believe we start around now. Uh, I think that's what you're referring to, RJ Hitters. Damn, you got a you got a good brain on your on your shoulders there. Do 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 do. Morning, uh, Sergeant Mark. Where the hell have you been, brother? Cheers. This is a good guy right here, Sergeant Mark. He's keeping everybody in line down there in Philly. He's fighting the good fight down there in Philly, and uh, he does a good damn uh, live stream too. He gets uh, he gets the people watching. What's up, Sergeant? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Nothing like finding a pair of size 14 shoes in your girlfriend's trunk, LOL. Yeah, that's the that's the biggest breakup story for me. I, I fell hard for a gal. And stupid me, instead of going to... Bought, well, she was in Cape Cod, but all my friends, after they graduated Geneseo, not all, but a, a big chunk of uh, the group moved to Boston just to have fun. And get low-level jobs. And uh, me and Buzzy, we decided to room together and try to get our careers going. So we stayed behind. And, uh, you know, and then I tried this long-distance uh, relationship without a cell phone. Imagine trying a long-distance relationship without a cell phone. Are you kidding me? So you got to What? You got, every once in a while, you, you took the phone off the wall. Oh, boy, am I going to confuse some people, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Every once in a while, you took the phone off the wall, 
found a place that you could maybe have a little privacy because, you know, I had a whole bunch of roommates back then and I would try to get a phone call in with my long distance girlfriend that was 22. She had the fresh juices flowing. That's why uh, when these youngsters go, yeah, you know, we're going to try to keep our relationship going. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. The problem is there's fresh juices flowing. And that gets the best of all of us when you're young and dumb and you got the fresh juice. So then I would take the, you know, the phone with the long cord and go around a corner, knocking all sorts of things off the walls. That that phone cord uh, would do some damage in your house when you were trying to find a spot where you could get some privacy. And then you babble with your long distance girlfriend and she's acting like, yeah, I really miss you. When are you going to come see me? And then, and then the, when are you going to come see me stopped? She didn't say that anymore. I'm like, oh, that's great. And then you get the phone bill and you're, uh, you know, you're just a schmuck just starting in radio. You're not even making $10,000 a year and your phone bill's like a fucking couple hundred dollars Uh, but trying to have a long distance uh, relationship without without a cell phone that you're just crazy oh I'm gonna I'm gonna write her a letter yeah I I wrote letters because I had more than one long distance girlfriend I would write letters and then like a you check the mail every day for a letter that's all you can hope for is a letter Ugh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I pressured my long distance uh, girlfriend. I'm like, hey man, I'm going to Boston because we were going to Boston a lot on the weekends to see our friends. And I made it to Boston, and then I, I took it a, a separate trip to Cape Cod. Where the hell was she? Orleans or something like that? I think it's called. In the middle of the Cape, she picks me up. I think I took a bus or something. I'm trying to remember. I think I took a bus. She opens up the hood to put my bag in for our little weekend together because I, you know, we're long distance boyfriend and girlfriend. And staring me in the face was uh, at least size 14 uh, shoes. They were as big as Scott Watson's shoes. Sneakers. Yes, they were sneakers. So you can only imagine. And she saw that I saw, and I was just like, ah, that. Uh, but I paid the money for the bus trip, so I guess we'll hang out. <laughs> and we hung out. We hung out, but I was just like, I was heartbroken the whole time. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And then I got my revenge. And then I moved on to Buffalo. I was starting to become a bit of a star. And she moved back home to Rochester, and she came and saw me in Buffalo. She was so happy, like, well, my Cape Cod days are done. And uh, we, we're, I'm not long distance anymore, so let's give this another shot. So I invited her to Buffalo. I had a, a wonderful, wonderful time. You know when you break up with someone, you got to have that one last time. We had that one last time. And then I never saw her again. I'm like, beat it. You broke my heart. We're not doing this anymore. Get a lot of peaches. Uh, 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 uh. All right, let's get out of here. Because I'm not happy about the. I'm not happy about the. Uh, oh wait, no, I ain't getting out of here. Did, did I just make a dollar? A dollar ninety nine for Paul. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, we also have the John Courts down there in Philly. Fivers, likes, or download the excellent comedy quick hits, bitches. Help the kid find stuff on the beach. Oh, yeah, I haven't found anything on the beach uh, lately, John, but I, I will be walking in a little while. But, uh, yes, another episode of Comedy Quick Hits with Opie is out there. Um, and I would greatly appreciate it if you check it out. I, I'm very proud of it. I think it's a, a very, very fun, quick listen. So there you go. E-Rock right now. I got nowhere else to go. I have no idea what's going on with E-Rock. He, uh, he blocked me a while ago. <laughs> imagine imagine blocking the guy that gave you the biggest break in your career ever. I literally met him on the side of a Florida fucking highway at a Cracker Barrel. I gave him the, the chance of a lifetime. And I guess I said or did something so bad that he had to block me. <laughs> Jesus.
Jesus. <laughs> People are lunatics. Oh, I get there's things that happen where, you know, you don't get along and this and that, and you might say this or say that, but, you know. But to block the guy that gave you the biggest break of your life, that's pure lunacy. Oh, maybe I blocked him. Maybe that's why. Wait, wait let me see. I, I might look like a fool right now. I might look like a fool. You want, want to see me look like a fool right now? Let me see. Let me see if, uh, all right. Uh, oh, E-Rock, uh, not followed by anyone you're following. You are blocked from following E-Rock Radio and viewing E-Rock Radio's posts. Oh, my God, I'm missing out on some good fucking stuff on his Twitter. Uh, 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 I don't think I blocked him. Uh, 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 dude, you, you, you obsessing about the vaccination just didn't work today. No one cares for the simple fact that it's too late now. It's too late. Wait, there's a song there. It's too late. Uh, It's too late. Wait, it's too late. Then you have to add something there and then and then go, it's too late. That would work as a song somewhere, man. Don't you think? I think so. All right, I'm going. I'm just going. I'm just going. I'm just going. We know that cable guy had a, a brown out in your, <laughs> in your can last year. Yeah, that, yeah, the cable guy definitely had a brown out in my bathroom. Oh, you made some snot come up. Let me just swallow it. Mm. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. I want to go. I just want to go. So I'm going to just go. Have a good day. I'm just going. Cheers. Bye.